Thanks for joining me here at the Vexus plant where I could take an opportunity to show you a little bit about what was behind the thinking on the design of our all new VX fiberglass series. One of the things we wanted was a superior ride in the boat. We look at, at overall performance of the boat, kind of a three-legged stool. Fishability, certainly you can't give up anything on that side. You need a great ride because we're going farther in rougher water and bigger bodies of water. And then the overall performance of the boat has to be superb. So with those things in mind, we designed this one from the ground up and we wanted to get the fuel under the cockpit, which means that it clears up a lot of real estate inside the boat when you can get the fuel down. With this deep V boat, we were able to do that. We put a longitudinal tank in along the center line of the boat so that we could maintain that perfect center of gravity. When we did that, rather than having a transverse tank, which was the other option, the transverse tank has a tendency to the center of gravity to shift in a turn when the fuel tank isn't completely full. So by putting this longitudinally, we could maintain that attribute like we wanted. One of the other things that we did was we built a boat with a deeper V further forward. And the reason that's important is because when you're hitting the waves in a rougher water, that's going to smooth out the ride. We also made it a convex design. So that convex design sheds the water quicker. As it penetrates into the water, it will throw it away from the boat, which softens the ride. Another thing that we did at the chine, which is where the hull turns to the bottom, we reversed that so that the water is absolutely thrown down. As soon as it clears the bottom of the boat, it's turned down back into the lake. We also flared the hull. And by doing that, as you can see, when the boat comes down on a wave, it's going to clear the water away from it. We also have a mechanism here for even making sure that it doesn't track up to the rub rail. As we added that flare, it increased the beam, pulled the shear outward. When we did that, as you can see, a more conventional line would have been for it to go here. When we pull this out, we also pull the deck out with it. It also adds width into the front. So this expanse of room is very important for two fishermen to be able to fish on the front deck side by side. So very important real estate there. We also got this protected area in the fork, which pretty much houses the, the trolling motor when it's not deployed, which gives it a good advantage for clearing brush and so forth when you're backing up or swinging around. Just as important as the shape of the hull is how the hull's constructed. And we put a lot of effort into this VX series hull. We developed a process we called infused composite construction. And that means that we have clothes molded or underneath a bag built every part of this boat. The hull has hand laid materials strategically located all throughout the hull. So we can put uh, triaxle materials, we can put, we even have quadriaxle. So which is to, to simplify is to say that we have materials that fiberglass is running in the longitudinal direction, in the lateral direction, and in 45 degrees of each other. We can't always predict the stresses that are gonna be applied when you hit a wave of a certain direction. So having this fiber oriented in every direction is very important for the durability of the hull. Another thing that we do when we're talking about infused composite, we pull a vacuum on this. So it's environmentally very clean way of building a boat. The resin is pulled through the fiberglass, so it only requires exactly the resin needed to saturate that material or that fiberglass composite material. So the result of that is that we get a lighter hull, a stronger hull, and a more durable hull with better physical properties because we have infused it with the proper materials. Because of this infusion process that I've talked about that our hull stringers deck the entire boat actually, we carried that right through to the transom. Transom is without a doubt one of the more important parts of a bass boat with these larger horsepower engines. The four strokes are getting heavier. We're adding shallow water anchors and a lot of components to the back of the boat that several years ago was kind of unheard of. When we did this overall design, I told you a second ago about how we pushed the fuel tank forward a bit and put it longitudinally so that we didn't have the center of gravity shifting as dramatically as we do when it's transverse. When we do that and infuse the hull, we wanted to infuse the transom at the same time. So let me break the transom kind of into three segments. The first third is infused right along with the hull. So it's a monolithic infusion where there's no cracks or gaps or anything glued together. It's built in literally in with the hull. The second one, is a, I'll call it a unibody, which is built out separately and infused in its own mold. 
And it is done that way so that we can engineer the fibers in the exact orientation that we want them. The reason that's important is because the stresses that an engine uh, applies to a transom is generally forward and believe it or not backward, as opposed to the hull we talked about having to withstand forces from all different directions. This is to some extent, but as you can see, most of the thrust will be in the forward direction. So we can engineer those fibers exactly like we want them and orient them in a way so that it's consistent and repeatable and lightweight. I would say that our, our transoms are all fiberglass. We don't have wood, obviously. We don't have any other kind of foam material or urethane. It's fiberglass and it's the materials that are oriented in exactly the right direction. We put the final third layer on to make the thickness on the inside, and we do that in this general area from the center line out. Many times the shallow water anchor is hanging off of the engine, off of its own separate bracket. We designed this transom to accept that so we can bolt it directly to the boat. That eliminates that piece and saves weight. We also were able to integrate a ladder into the boat. This ladder is important for safety, and obviously for recreation, but many times fishermen don't enjoy that apparatus hanging on the outside. So we, it was real important to us to have a ladder that was completely integrated, that would be easily deployed from the outside of the boat or inside the boat. We also included a safety feature on it so that when this ladder is deployed, when that's a, a jar out of its receiver, there'll be a red light on the dash come on, which will notify the driver or the person in the driver's area that, that this ladder is deployed, which is good to know if you inadvertently deploy it for whatever reason or if there's swimmers in the water, it's going to be important to know that that's the case. The total um, overall construction of the hull, deck, and all the parts is infused composite construction. We take a lot of pride in the development of that process and to be able to engineer precisely where we need the fiberglass to be, where we need weight, where we need stiffness. Result of that is, is when compared to an open molded product, we're gonna be lighter. And that's always important to the user. So it improves the payload and it improves performance of the product. I really appreciate you allowing me to show you a little bit about how our products are built and why they are the shape the way they are. I think as you look deeper, you'll understand that why we believe that the revolution really is here. Vexus products are awesome products. We're very proud of them and we know you will be. Just look deeper, contact us, and again, thank you for allowing us to talk to you today. Appreciate it.